Finance is always moving. But is it really moving forward? Or is it just stuck in the same old cycle? Crypto solutions are transforming finance, making it faster and more efficient than we ever thought possible. Moving us all into a dynamic new era. Ripple. Crypto means business. Crypto is helping transform finance businesses today in a few different ways. And I think one of the challenges for the industry has been to focus on solving real problems for real customers. And Ripple, obviously, from its earliest days, focused on the problem around cross-border payments. That's a point of a lot of friction as measured by speed and cost. And by focusing there, we've been able to have a big impact on that you know, relatively small piece. But I think over the next years, you're going to see many financial transactions where a middleman sits, a middle transaction, an intermediary, those will get removed and we'll use blockchain and other digital asset type technologies to, to remove that friction. And I think all of society will benefit from improving the efficiency of those, those systems. I think you'll see that certainly you've seen it in security settlement as an opportunity. Uh, the, the, the financial transactions around bonds, around derivatives, a lot of these things take a while to settle and the, the friction associated actually holds back the industry. Insurance is an industry I think you're gonna see touched. Uh, trade finance is an industry that really Ripple, some of our customers have invited us to participate in. Uh, and you've seen an experimentation around identity in uh, real estate and title management. And you know, these are all examples where I think it's so hard to predict where this will go in the same way that 25 years ago, when I first got involved in the Internet of Information, I never could have predicted on my smartphone, I'd press a button and I'd have a car picking me up minutes later. You know, I think this will permeate lots of different parts of our society. I'm Rosie Rios, former Treasury of the United States and current board member of Ripple. What I like to talk about is really kind of this intersection between government and innovation. Certainly coming from the Bay Area, born and raised in Silicon Valley, I've seen a lot of change over time. And what I love is the conversation is really starting to happen in a constructive way where I think we as a region, we as a country, and perhaps we as a globe could really think about the future of fintech and who the stakeholders are and how we can make this effective for everyone. So when you think about growth, it's not just kind of GDP growth, which of course is a big part of the economy. It's also where new growth comes from. And that usually comes from certainly lately in technology and innovation. So I think the benefit of why business and government should be working together is again, providing that level of certainty for further expansion, further growth, and certainly more jobs for the economy. So blockchain is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And so it's not just how to facilitate commerce. There are other applications, uh, whether it's NFTs, whether it's, you know, selling real estate, whether it's, you know, any type of financial ledger that can be recorded uh, for posterity's sake, this is here to stay. And it's, it's important and incumbent upon the government at every level, whether it's local, whether it's state, whether it's national, to really give some thought as to how those applications are going to benefit them and benefit everyone. But I think what's most important is what are those guardrails? What are those tracks that we can lay down in order to move forward in a way that really blazes the trail for future growth and future opportunities that we perhaps we don't even know are there yet? Current state of finance is a bit of a black box. Uh, if you are sending money abroad, if you are trading uh, equities, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, and I think that has a lot of different repercussions from uh, unknowing what the credit, credit risks are uh, of these underlying uh, companies that are managing your portfolio uh, to folks being locked out of the uh, banking system like we're seeing in a lot of emerging markets and uh, by tokenizing these assets in a uh, safe compliant uh, way uh, you could provide greater access uh, and greater interchange of these assets across the world so i believe that uh, in the future almost any asset uh, that can be tokenized and that means real estate uh, equities uh, currencies like we're seeing today uh, will be tokenized and be available on blockchains. Uh, and by tokenizing them, they're easier to move around. 
Uh, and also they're more liquid, meaning you can interchange them with other assets. Uh, and I think that is going to be the future. And the folks that are early to that future will reap huge early uh, first mover advantages uh, and transform their business ahead of the others.